All right, y'all, I'm going to be honest. It has been a hot minute since I've done, like, a genuine training video in MM2. I did one pretty recently with Talking Ben, but, like, I don't know. That was kind of just a gimmick, not, like, a genuine training video where I just try to do some trades. I think the last training video I made was, like, back in October. So, you know what? We got to do another training video. We just got to hop around in some servers and do some trades and stab some people with the candy cane, particularly this guy right here. Probably because of how different the value lists are now, especially for the pets. Like, it's really hard to trade pets anyway here is my inventory right here we have a lot of chromas i may or may not trade these off i don't know chromas are pretty good these days but we're just gonna do some trades and see what happens try to make some profit i probably should try and gain some more value to eventually trade for chroma swirly gun but i don't know it's still like nearly impossible for me to fit that much value into four trading slots so i don't know we'll just have to see what happens so yeah we're just gonna hop around in some servers and do some trades and just have a good old time as always if you haven't yet be sure to drop a like on this video because it really helps out a whole lot and if you're new be sure to subscribe for more mm2 training videos in the future and also don't forget to use star code purple when buying robux and robux premium because it really helps me out to continue making these videos anyway like i said i really don't have anything particular in mind i guess i do want to trade off these pets but again they're so different in value on the different value lists that like you know, it's really hard to do that. So I don't know. We'll just have to see what happens. For now, I guess I'll accept this trade and see if it works. I don't know. Okay, I do not need more pets. Please do not offer any more pets. I've had enough pets in my lifetime. This is worth nothing but a common to me at this point. So, so there you go. What an amazing trade right there. What other gollies do we have? All right, nothing nothing too interesting to write home about. You know something I should do? I have six Amerilasers and four Old Glory, so I should trade Amerilaser for Old Glory, and then I will have five of the set, which is really nice. Because there is like an America set for Amerilaser and Old Glory together, so that is something I should do. Look at that, we got someone with Old Glory right here. I'm gonna trade him. All right, I don't have offers for your other stuff. This is like a rare common, isn't it? I don't, I don't want to accept this because i think that's a rare common i think i have a choco already okay you declined it well okay amerilaser for old glory I, I would like to get this trade okay i guess not i'm pretty sure that amerilaser is just more valuable to be honest like i'm pretty sure i'm losing value from this trade maybe i should have taken choco for it i mean he declined it anyway so whatever the point is it's it's a bad trade but like having a set is kind of nice so it's a worthy investment question mark i don't know america set's not that good last time i checked he's fake the real one has nick scythe D yeah nicholas did you hear that did you hear that the real no data has nick scythe where's my nick scythe nicholas give me my nick scythe anyway nothing's happening here i'm gonna server jump you know it's kind of hard to do these trading videos when you don't have anything in mind to trade for but this guy right here has a, a clown gun so that's more than i could ever hope for tnl is that a common i don't have i'm pretty sure i don't have that common how much is that maybe i can trade for that just for fun okay it is like crazy expensive and not that that's necessarily a bad thing it's just i don't know if i should trade for those collectibles or if i should save up for chroma swirly gun you know anyway i'm gonna trade this dude for a a swirly axe which i could just buy you can just buy these with robux technically i don't know if i really want them oh okay thanks for that i guess no i still need to look for old glories that is that is something i need to trade for and probably gonna lose value from so, oh my god this person has a lot of chromas that's cool yeah you got uh pretty much every chroma there i can't wait to be max level and have murder around just be completely meaningless besides free coins i guess i mean you don't have to kill people you can just grab free coins anyway still no interesting trades happening okay next server to oh great you have a mirror laser not all glory i guess i could trade for another sugar because i'm just hoarding them at this point anyway also no trades happening in the server we're off to a great start anyway i'll get back to you guys when i find a genuinely interesting trade all right a pumpkin honestly a pretty cool knife i like pumpkin so i'm gonna see what he wants for that because honestly that's just a really cool knife i'm gonna be honest with you dark bringer oh maybe i don't know i feel like dark bringer has a lot better demand it's equal on mm2 values and a bit of a loss on supreme value i'm gonna say that's probably not a good trade i feel like pumpkin I don't know. It's never had that much demand. I feel like it, they're hard to stumble on nowadays, but I don't know. I feel like not that many people want them. I wish there was like a different godly I could offer. Cause like I want one, but I don't know, man. I don't really have many other tier one godlies or like unboxable godlies. How would you feel about a gemstone? <laughs> I don't think this is a good trade for him. I don't know. This is definitely underpaying, I think. But like, I don't know. Darkbringer with its demand is not something I really want to do. 
I feel like I should add more here though. What's something like really cheap? Egg blade. I feel like if I put down egg blade, that would even it out. To be honest, still a bit of underpay, but it is a better deal. Add another godly? Yeah, I'm working on it. I don't really have many other cheap godlies to even this out. Cookie blade? Ooh, maybe. Maybe cookie blade. Ooh, and battle axe. That's not a great knife either. It's a little bit better than it used to be though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold out on that one. If I got rid of egg blade, I could probably put down battle axe, and that would be fine. Probably cookie blade. This is probably the way to go. Okay, honestly, I'm underpaying, but by a decent amount on both value lists. These knives don't have much demand and neither does Pumpkin, but I really like Pumpkin. I'm gonna miss Gemstone, to be honest. I like Gemstone, it's purple, I like it, but you gotta do what you gotta do. He's throwing in a bunny, what a much better deal. All right, I'll do it. I like Pumpkin, I'm down to clown with it. Okay, an Xbox, this is not worth much at all. I remember this used to be worth like a seer. I don't think it's that good anymore. I'm pretty sure you get this if you just play on Xbox. Can you still get this? No, I think it's unobtainable, but I think that's how you got it back then, or maybe it was a code. Yeah, you had to join on Xbox, you can't get it anymore. Either way, no. And again, you know, I want to trade for this knife. It's a collectible, but like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to trade a Chroma because Chromas are pretty good nowadays. I think I'm just going to put down a decent godly like Tides and just call it a day. This is still massive underpay and surprisingly he accepted. So you know what? Sure. Let's get one of those Valentine's Day commons. That's a nice little collectible right there. Again, kind of torn on those knives because I, I would like to collect them, but I would also just like to save up some chromas. But uh, I believe that'll show up in the classic section, if I'm not mistaken, down here, Valentine. So this is a pretty decent collectible, actually. Ooh, this person's offering a Tides. Okay, I'm interested to see where this goes. Granted, I already... Okay, well, <laughs> so much for trading. I was gonna say, granted, I already have a lot of Tides. I have like three of them, so really i don't need another one but you know you can't have too many tides i guess it's a pretty good knife okay so i'm noticing that this guy right here has a lot of chroma guns and no chroma knives so you know what i kind of want to trade for the chroma luger and i think i'm gonna probably trade something like chroma death shard plus what extra chromas do i have yeah probably something like chroma death shard plus because chroma death shard is okay or maybe chroma slasher but i think that's worth a little bit less Ooh, look at that i have enough coins for a box you know what at the end of this video i'll go ahead and open up a box okay it's hard to judge with both value lists but i think if i put down chroma death shard and i think ice blaster i think that would balance it out pretty well or maybe green luger how many green lugers do i have two i have three ice blasters so i think i'm better off trading that okay pretty fair and balanced trade right here and again chroma luger is pretty good one of the better chromas in the game wonder if I can bump it down a bit and put down something else. Maybe like a pixel or maybe just another tides. I might be trading a lot of tides today. I don't know. Would it be nice to bump it down a little bit though, just to be safe. I'm going to bump it down a little bit. See how he feels about a pixel instead. Okay. Yeah. He's fine with this. You know what? I'll go ahead and accept this. Bumped it down a little bit and we got a chroma luger out of it, which again, probably one of the best chromas out there. I say the best one is obviously chroma swirly guns, the best one. But other than that, probably the light bringer and dark bringer are probably the best chromas and then chroma luger is probably next to those so yeah it's good that i got my hands on a second one honestly dude i should really trade for a corrupt because corrupts are really good but like they're so freaking pricey it's gonna be so hard to fit that much value into trading slots that being said the christmas stuff is still valuable so maybe i could put that down i don't know let me see if that checks out on supreme oh dear heavens it's a bit of overpay Maybe I should trade Candle Flame instead. Okay, so I'm thinking something like this will work. First, I have to find my Swirly Blade. Don't know what... There it is. There it is right there. Okay, so that... Um, two sugars. Hold, it's lagging. Great. Something like this, I believe, checks out mathematically on both value lists. A little bit of underpay, overpay, but I mean... I'm gonna be pretty low on sugars, which is kind of a shame. I'm gonna have three left. That, that kind of sucks, to be honest. But, I mean, it is what it is. Corrupt. One of the best things you can get nowadays. But, like I said, mathematically, pretty sure this checks out. She's gonna ask her teammate for advice, which okay you know what i'm not here to make fun of teamers today i am here to make a simple trade for a knife i am here to make a transaction will she accept i don't know probably not i mean this is corrupt we're talking about and who knows man swirly blade could just plummet one day she doesn't know i mean that's fair that's fine it's a big trade 
take your time. Well, I guess I'll double check my math while I'm at it. So yeah, this is a slight win on MM2 values, and I think on Supreme, it's pretty much even. Oh, never mind. It's also underpay on Supreme. Let's go. Could you add a little? Yep. Okay, fair enough. You're gonna make me throw in a red luger okay well now we're definitely overpaying in mm2 not by much though all things considered actually wait how much is corrupt 25th i'm overpaying by 20 overpaying by 20 in mm2 values overpaying by five in supreme really not that bad of a trade um i have a lot of these knives i could get another swirly blade if i wanted it would just cost robux losing a lot of my sugars that sucks but oh well i would rather get more corrupts that's kind of just the best path forward, especially if I want to get something like Chroma Swirly Gun. I'm going to need a lot of corrupt, so what better time to get it than now before it skyrockets even more for some reason. So there we go. I got a corrupt. That's awesome. So there's my fifth corrupt right there. I plan to give one away at some point, and I want to keep one, so I'd say right now I have about three of them for trade, which will probably have to be put into the Chroma Swirly Gun trade. Good stuff. That was a big trade. That's what I was looking for. All right, guys. Well, like I said earlier, we'll go Go ahead and end off this episode with a box and which one am i going to open probably knife box five but you know what i've opened a lot of these and i traded away a gemstone in this episode and i would like to get a second one it'd be nice let's go ahead and open up mystery box one and let's see what we get will we get the gemstone no we are going to get the pirate gun all right well at least it's not a common at least we got an uncommon there but anyway yeah guys that's pretty much going to be it for this episode we did a lot of interesting trades today we traded for a corrupt which is not really something you can do every day because of how expensive it is so it is nice to get a fifth corrupt the game is bugged so it's showing one right now but i do have five i would just have to rejoin for it to say five i don't know why corrupt does that it does that a surprisingly large amount of times like you'll have multiple corrupts and it'll say that you only have one it's kind of weird but that's gonna be it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching this episode of roblox murder mystery 2 don't forget to like comment subscribe and all those other things that youtube people do and i will see you guys in the next episode stay purple